Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is all about this Hila hair lace frontal wig. The hair is actually 20 inches and it is a lace frontal wig. This is what the packaging looks like and the packaging comes with an eyelashes and it comes with the hair obviously. <laughs> the hair has three combs at the front and one comb at the back. Guys, look at the body of the hair. I am her huge huge fan guys the hair is really really soft so that's what the construction of the cap looks like it has three combs at the back at the front and one comb at the back and the hair also has an elastic strap as well it has baby hair around the perimeters of it so in this video i just decided to you know add a bit of my own touch to the hair the hair has been slightly plucked straight from the box but i just needed to add some you know additional touches to the you know airline so i decided to pluck it again if you're going for a center part half parts you know all those kind of styles without having to put your head you know like rope bone or anything then you can skip this step it's not necessary at all unless you want to do rough bone or half bone half up half down really but if not feel free to skip this step so that's what the hair looks like really so yeah, I actually applied the got to be blasting spray on the lace of the hair. So I applied my contour shade powder on it. So next I did the bold cap method, but I used the got to be glue, you know, the yellow one to, you know, stick my cap on my head really. Then I cut off the SS cap off my head. Then next, apply the hair, I used the ghost bond glue. I put the hair away. I made sure that the hair was exactly on the areas where I would be placing the applying the glue. So I moved the hair backward and I applied the ghost bond glue on my head. I actually applied like three layers, two or three layers anyway. So yeah, after that I waited for after the first layer, I waited for it to get dry. Applied the second layer, then yeah, waited for it to dry. Then when I'm quite satisfied with it. Then I placed the wig exactly on the areas where I applied the, you know, glue. Then when I'm, you know, happy with it, I tied my scarf. I combed the hair up back then. I tied my scarf on the hair. But before then, I actually applied, you know, the uh, setting mousse. Yeah, mousse. Yeah, I applied that on the hair. Then I put the hair up and tied my scarf on it just to make sure that the hair is well laid and is in place then. Yeah, when I'm done with that and I'm quite satisfied, about 10 minutes or so, yeah, I took off the scarf that I cut off the SS lace of the wig. Then after that, I, you know, tried the uh, uh, rough bone. Yeah, rough bone. Yeah. In, in this scenario, I just showed you guys how you can, you know, apply the rough bone. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do it as rough as I did. <laughs> but yeah, I used the you know comb at the back to secure the hair at the back i didn't apply any glue or gel so yeah you can wear this hair you know as rough bone or half up half down any style you like at all so you don't necessarily need to apply glue at the back of it but yeah next i apply the contour shade again on the parts you don't necessarily have to do this but you guys know me <coughs> i'm used to this anyway so yeah as always i decided to curl the hair just to be sure if the hair do old curls and yes the hair do old curls really really well as you can tell i was coiling the hair away from my face when i got to the left side i did the same thing as well i really quite like the hair so far guys the hair is really really soft and i mean very soft and it's also silky to touch as well in my opinion the hair is definitely true to length because it's actually 20 inches but when i pull it down it's almost to my belly button but when the curl is up you know obviously the hair will jump up by the length and an inch or so so yeah that's what the hair looks like that's what the curls look like i'm actually using the irresistible millimeter hair curling wand here so yeah i'm quite a huge fan of this hair really i like the fact that it has this kind of moisture to it it's so so soft and very very you know silky to touch so there was no shedding or tangling whatsoever throughout the styling process of this hair and i'm still wearing the hair right now as we as i speak because i normally apply glue on my hair just to 
be able to you know wear the hair for some time before being able to record the voice over because you know obviously I need to drag the hair over very well before telling you guys what the hair feels like or anything so that's exactly what I think about the hair I like the hair I like the fact that it's true to length I like the fact that you don't have to do much more before installing the hair and also bear in mind that you can style the hair anyhow you like but you know these are the two styles that i have the time to go through with you guys so bear that in mind as well you can style it anyhow you like so if you like that ponytail kind of look but you thought it's like uh lace frontal you can't do that yes you can do that all you need to do is just follow the instruction on this video and in this video and just you know use your elastic strap at the back then use your comb to secure just put your comb on that the elastic strap at the back of the hair and voila you're good to go to you know do your up half bun uh, um half up half down ponytail any style you decide to go for and voila this is the end result this is the finished look guys there is plenty about this hair in this video so please feel free to stay tuned and watch the review of the hair look at the curls guys the curls are popping i was actually feeling myself i couldn't help myself but you know dance and show you guys that yeah this hair is really really nice as you can tell the camera is not even doing justice to this hair as opposed to what it is in real life it's so so nice so i'll see you in my next one guys bye Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is all about this Hula hair right here. The hair is actually 20 inches and it's a lace frontal wig. It's in the length 20 inches. It's actually an Indian hair texture. So I'm just going to go straight to the point and share my thoughts about the hair with you guys. First thing I noticed about the hair is the fact that the hair has baby hair around the perimeters of it, both front and back. So if you're the type that you'd like your lace front to, if you decide that like to wear that rough bun style, then you have the option to, you know, be able to put your hair up and the type that like the, you know, half up, half down style or, you know, rough bun, then you can wear your baby hair around the perimeters of it. But for today's look, I didn't go for any baby hair because I actually went for something very simple. Also had that option with the hair. Another thing I like about the hair is the fact that the hair is really, really soft. It's very silky to touch and it's very very full as you can tell so far so good there has been no shedding there has been no tangling whatsoever throughout the styling of the hair and also I noticed that the hair has also been prepared straight from the box but I just had to go in again you know sometimes you just want to you know had your touch to the hair so that's all I did so another thing I noticed about the hair is the fact that the hair is so so silky to touch I don't know if it's just me I just kept putting my hands in and out of the hair and I didn't experience any shedding whatsoever and also another thing that I like about the hair is the fact that the hair is really really affordable Hila hair have loads of hair on their website they have you know they have bundles they have silky straight they have coily they have you know all types of hair and texture on their website depending on the look you're going for so if you visit their website you'll be able to find a lot of affordable hair on their website so if you decide that you're looking for great quality hair with affordable prices then i recommend you check out their website another thing that i like about the hair is the fact that the hair took to curls really really well as you can tell i actually went for a big waves but the hair is still so bouncy and you can tell that it's so so soft and silky to touch so it depends on the look you're going for you can also you know pack the hair anywhere you like within a 13 by 4 closure you have up to here to pack the hair so if you're going for that you know center part half part you can pat it anywhere you like within the lace within the 13 by 4 closure of the hair so another thing i like about the hair is the fact that you can also wear this hair without you know any gel or glue so at the beginning of this video when i wore the wig i was actually using just the elastic strap at the back of the hair but you guys know me sometimes i like to you know wear the hair for like three days four days just to have a feel of what the hair looks like on me or feels like on me before doing the you know voiceover review of the hair so that's why i always use glue in my videos but 
you know if you decide that you just want to wear your hair without any glue or gel this hair is the kind of hair that you can you know get away without using any glue or gel you can use the elastic strap at the back of the hair to secure the hair and also for the rough bond that I showed you guys earlier I didn't apply any glue at the back of the hair all I did was just use the you know uh, the pin that was the what's it called the comb that was at the back of the hair to secure the hair at the back and voila I got my rough bond looking you know nice and good so depending on the look you're going for you can style the hair anyhow you like and if you're tired of wearing the hair you know silky uh, like curly then you can as well you might as well just straighten the hair and you know go for another style depending on what look you're going for you have loads of options with this hair and also the hair also come with free eyelashes right here so if you're going for that natural look this is also handy to have as well and another thing I like about the hair is the fact that as you can tell the hair really has good body to it and it has some kind of luster to it if you can see I don't know if the camera is doing justice to that I'll just you know come and show you guys the kind of luster to it even before adding any product whatsoever to it which I quite like a lot I don't know if it's just me if it's not <laughs> But I also love the density of the hair. I'm not quite sure what the density is, but I'm going to leave the details of that in the description box below. Look at that, guys. The curls are popping. Like, seriously? So, that's my thoughts about the hair so far. I'll leave the details of the hair in the description box below. Please feel free to check out the vendor and let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in my next one.